Update, my husband, 34, wants to quit his job without having something lined up. I, 28, am being supportive, but internally am very worried. Original post slash slash word dot reddit.com slash slash relationships slash comments slash six and slash my spam 34 months to quit this job without slash puts on shisharium put me do miss a pampered nami awesome to be honest i'm not sure it really requires an update but figured i got more traction than i expected on the original post so might as well give some resolution my husband did indeed leave his job back in june and it was definitely the right decision albeit with a few bumps along the way the good he since found another job. It was a small pay cut, but he's much happier there and is able to actually separate work from after work time. Instead of being miserable, 24 slash 7. He's a pathetic 8 hours a day and happy the other 16 also absolutely a step in the right direction. As a result, I am also generally happier because I am not constantly worrying about. It. Additionally, while he was unemployed, he did a lot of positive work on himself, and finally quit smoking. The man smoked two packs a day for twenty years, so that took enormous effort, and I am so proud of him. He was also able to help his family out a lot during this time, as they were going through some problems, and he and I got to spend a lot of quality time together, too. So overall, he used his time out of work well. The bad, it took him way longer to find a job than I would have liked. Almost six months. Part of that was he didn't actually even start looking until the fall, which was not what we had originally discussed when he quit. As a result, we did dip slightly into our savings, but not dramatically. We also had a few arguments over money during that time where I was admittedly not very nice. For example, I wanted to grab ingredients to make a specific dinner, and he said we should just eat whatever we had at home to save money. I snapped and said, if you're so worried about money, get a job. The ultimate problem was a simple lack of clear communication. I didn't want to seem like a nag even though I was annoyed he wasn't following our original timeline. And so I just stood on my frustration. He was worried I wouldn't agree to him taking more time to focus on himself and his family rather than start job hunting. So he just didn't bring it up. Once we actually talked it out, we were able to understand each other and work through those few disagreements. All in all, while I wouldn't normally recommend, leaving a job without something lined up for our specific situation, it was the right choice. If anyone else finds themselves in a similar situation, just make sure you keep an extremely open line of communication. Things will inevitably get tense, especially if money gets tight, but as long as you attack the problems as a team and work through them together. You can find yourself on the other side, stronger than ever. Too long, don't read. Husband quit his toxic job without having something lined up. It took a sometimes stressful six months, but we are both much happier now. All's well that ends well. Sometimes you have to take the risk to avoid future risks of a different nature. Mental health is vitally important. And no amount of money is worth. Good luck to you and your husband, and enjoy the happy time. So glad to read this. I'm so happy that your husband made the right decision for himself and you both. I'm turning in my two weeks' notice to my toxic job this for a day without anything lined up either. And I'm so glad I came across this post. As someone who's worked toxic job, it makes sense why. You couldn't apply before leaving. When you're stressed and overworked, it's not easy to flip on the job search. But he was burned out. Even if he got an interview, he would just screw it up because he wasn't in the mindset. I'm glad it worked out. It takes time sometimes and focusing on health is more important. It can really affect you physically and mentally. And mentally.